Welcome back everyone. This is a quick tutorial on how to create an ISS tracker. So right now we are tracking the International Space Station and as you can see it is currently just to the left of Peru. So the idea of this is where every time that we load this page up it will give us a new location as to where it's actually traveled to. So I'm going to MPX create React app and I'm just going to call this ISS tracker. I'm just going to let that install. Now that that's finished, I'm going to change the directory into the ISS tracker folder. I'm just going to open that up with code. Fantastic. And before we get started and run any servers, I'm just going to do some housekeeping. Clean up the test, logo, report, and vital, and setup. Uh, so let's delete those. Um, I could come into the index. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's remove this because we're going to get an error. Um, I'm going to save that, leave everything else as it is. Uh, App.js. I'm going to remove the logo. And then anything in between the open and closing div, I'm just going to say hello world. Save that. It's just, you're still catching up. Okay. And. That's pretty much it. I'm going to leave everything else as it is. Um, let's just go ahead and run our server. So npm run start. So we just loaded up now. And if I go back to localhost, we'll see that we've got hello world. Now we've still got some default styling. So if I come over to app.css, I'm just going to delete all of that. Save and that we render. So we've got nothing in our app.css. We will be using this in a second. So let's just leave that for a moment. Um, okay, so next thing I'm going to terminate my, um, my my actual server and I'm going to do npm i Google Maps React and uh, sorry Google Map React and Axios. So this is the map that we're going to be using to render an International Space Station logo onto, and then Axios is what we're going to be making the API call with to get the latest coordinates. So go ahead and save that now. Uh, install that. Sorry now. If I was, if this was being built for production, I would install an application called .env. Um, .env is a, a package which allows you to um, hide credentials or sensitive information. So, um, in this case, the API key. But um, we're not going to go into that. Is out the scope of this project. So that's going ahead and installed, and I can just run the server again. npm run start. Now. Whilst that's booting up, I just want to show you two files, uh, two links. So we're using Google Map React, and I'll paste the link to this down in the description. Um, essentially, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be needing a uh, an, an API key. So down here, the the example that you've got is you get some props, which are the default props, and that is the longitude and latitude that you're going to be starting at. Um, they are passed in down here, but you also get this API key. This API key we're going to be needing. You get the API key from uh, console.cloud.google.com. You're going to need to sign up to an account and then you're just going to go to create a uh, project, which is quite straightforward, which is over here. And then um, once you do that, you just create some credentials and you're pretty much set to go. Now, I'm going to delete this API key after this video, so please do not use this, this API key. It will not work. Um, and this is the bit that I was talking about earlier when I was saying that we you'd want to properly save this in a a file that doesn't get published to the server. So you'd use something like .env and um, where you create an environment variable and you'd say like API, API underscore key is equal to the key and then you could call it in um, elsewhere. However, as I said, you know, this, that's, that's out of the scope of this. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna create it in a components folder um, just by adding a slash on a new file and then I'm gonna call this map.js. And within here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just take this and paste it in. I'm going to call this map. Let's just say map and then import map. And then if we come to app.js, let's just import that. Let's get something rendering. So import map from uh, dot slash components slash map. And then we want to render. Save that. 
I'm going to minimize this back over here. And okay, we've got something rendering from our map component over into our main um, main app component. Now, I suppose let's just get something rendering from our map onto the actual screen. So I'm going to change the class name that we've got wrapping around the map because obviously we're using it on class as well. So I'm going to change this and I'm going to call this the map container. Uh, let's just work with that. I'm going to go to our app.css that we deleted earlier and I'm going to create a new uh, style for map container and it's going to be the height is going to be 100 viewport heights. The width is going to be 100 viewport widths. Save that and then I'm going to come back. And then what we want to do is I want to start by importing import Google Map React from oh from uh, Google Map React. Okay, so now we can call this in. So Google Map React, terminate that, and then we need to set some default. Uh, default parameters so a bootstrap URL keys is equal to an object and that's going to have a key in it now let's just go ahead and grab that key that I had before here is that then we also need a default zoom and default center so default zoom center okay so these need some parameters in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I'm actually going to be passing something in as props down into this map component. So I'm going to say center and zoom but in the meantime we've got obviously nothing passing in from our app.js so right now nothing's being passed in down here. So just to make sure that this works I'm going to just create some default props. So props is equal to center which is an object it's going to take a latitude and it's going to take a longitude and then come down here and we're going to pass in a zoom and we're going to put that zoom at say let's say six the um example is um 11 but I, I like six i think it's quite good so let's go to i don't know london long and lat okay so london's longitude and latitude oh so latitude Longitude. Oh. Save that. And if I come back, now we've obviously not declared anything into here, so I want to make sure that we pass in our center that we are deconstructing up here. Now we zoom. So our default props should be down here, and our center and zoom are passed up here. So right now, the center of our map would be London. Okay, that's perfect. And now what I want to do is I want to just project something onto the map just to make sure that we can get like an icon or a marker or something. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded a, uh, a simple PNG in uh, to my desktop. And I'm just going to drag that onto uh, my components folder. I'm going to come back to my map. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to import this from the image. So ISS.png. And then I'm going to in between out my uh, Google Map um, uh, instantiation, I'm, what I'm going to call is an image. I'm going to say the source is equal to ISS that we've called up here. I'm going to say my alt is ISS icon. Let's just say, uh, let's just give it a class name. I'm going to style it in a second. So ISS logo icon icon and i think that's it let's save that okay yeah it's obviously massive and it's taking the corner of the uh, of the actual icon to be over here so let's just quickly fix that so a little bit of css or css uh, what do we call it? iss icon and i'm going to say the width is say 40 pixels and the height is uh, let's just say auto fantastic so I'm um, just going to change the zoom level a little bit and say it is equal to 4 reload oh not 4 7 I want to go closer 
Okay, so we're pretty much in London right now. Fantastic. Um, that is exactly what we wanted. Next up, what I want to do is I want to come over to app.js and I want to import um, use state and use effect. And that's going to come from React. I'm going to knock into my app component. I'm going to say const uh, loading is uh, set loading equal to use state. And I'm going to give this a state, uh, a default value of true. Let's just say true for the time being. Now what I'm going to do is on my map, I'm going to say if you're not loading, and I want you to show the map. Otherwise, I want you to show, let's just say a H1, nothing fancy. Loading. I'm going to save this. What we should have is just it's always loading because it's the, the default state is true and it's never been changed. So I'm going to change this to false. And we've now got that. So obviously where we've got this loading, we could probably um, add a, a loading component, um, a spinner of some sort or you know, whatever. I'll, I'll leave that down to your imagination, but the functionality is there now essentially. Okay, so next I want to set some um, pieces of state up that we can change over time. And that is the longitude, longitude and set longitude. Then I'm going to use state, and I'm going to give if I'm going to give this a default state of um, let's just say London. So let's copy that into here. Oh, here. Um, and and then latitude. So I'm just going to copy this down. That include you know when you look at something for so long and you're like that doesn't look right. Um so that that fantastic. Now what we can do we can pass these props down and we can say um center is an object going to take a lat of attitude and long of longitude. Save that. And nothing should really change with our application. Fantastic. And then what we're going to do next is um, let's actually call in Axios. So I'm going to import Axios from Axios, spell import, import Axios from Axios, fantastic. I'm going to set a const up here and I'm going to say, let's call it get location is equal to an asynchronous look at, uh, function. So async and this, let's just say set loading to true and for the time being. Okay, so now we're going to use use effect. So what we want to do here is we want to go up to and ten in it and say use effect and inside use effect you have a function and what you want to do is you want to put a an empty array of uh, where brackets up here and that basically says load it the first time that this application loads so run this the first time that the application loads it's almost like a component did mount so what I want to do is when the when the application loads I want to get the location. So get location. Save that. And what have we done wrong? Oh. No. Okay, so as soon as the application loads, it's setting the loading state to true, which is exactly what we want. Now we need to go and fetch the data from somewhere. So what I've got is link down here and I'll put a link down in the description for api.open-notify.org um, ISS now and basically this just gives us a location to the International Space Station as is as of this very second so copy this link and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say uh, const res is equal to await 
axios.get and then that URL. So we're going to be getting the data from that location. So if I just um, console.log press, inspect this window, console reload should have data fantastic okay so data what we got um, if we go into data we get ISS position we get longitude we get latitude message time success and if we have a look at um, our link a second ago ISS longitude latitude message timestamps fantastic now what we can say is um, let's deconstruct these props uh, these ele sorry, elements out of this object so i'm going to say longitude and latitude is equal to a weight from the response we want to get the data which is what we just looked at a second ago we want to get the iss underscore position so if i bring up the url again this gets thrown into data we've put it into res then it gets thrown into data and then we're obviously pulling out the ISS position and we want to deconstruct these two um, properties here. So, save that. Now what we can do, now that we've got these two, we can actually go ahead and set it as our longitude and latitude. So I'm going to say set longitude. And I'm going to set that to, now this is important, we need to, because what we get returned, from this um, this actual object is a string. We need to pass down a number into here. So I'm going to say pass float, and that just remain that that just keeps um, the float to everything after after the decimal intact. So I'm passing a float, and what am I setting it to? Well, we just de deconstructed it here. So longitude, and as you can imagine, it's just rinse and repeat with the latitude. So let's just set latitude. And I want to save latitude. Now at this point, we obviously are not loading anymore because we've set the longitude and latitude. So I'm going to say loading is false. So as you can see, then we had a, a quick um, brief load and then it returned exactly what we wanted. Fantastic. That's, that's pretty much it. So let's open this up a little bit. Reload our window. Zoom out. And right now we are to the left of Mexico. Reload that window. And why is that off screen? So let's say, oh, because I put a 100 viewport heights. Let's say 100 viewport widths. Make the screen full. Reload. Fantastic. Okay, the zoom level is quite far in because majority of the time it's going to be over you know water or you know some body of water at least so what i'm going to say is let's change that zoom level and what we was default in at 11 we want to change that so let's say zoom is equal to six reload and i think that gives us a good representation as to where it is Okay, and one final thing, um, as I was editing the video, I just realized that there was a slight problem that we didn't, uh, so the icon is always center because we've not actually added any parameters to our uh, our marker here, wherever I go, it will be the center of the screen, jumping along. So what we need to do just to rectify that is we need to actually pass it where the, the, the marker should be at that point in time. So what I'm gonna say is uh, lat is equal to center dot lat and then long is equal to center dot long save that it should reformat right now load it recenters over towards uh, madagascar and if i zoom out it should stay on madagascar and where i'm moving it's not recentering that that actual marker and that is everything now so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do have any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. But until next time, take care, guys.